Consider my affliction and please deliver me. Hello, my name is Debbie Klusman. Um, my husband David and I have been attending Mountain View for the last nine months. We have two small children, Reed, who's three, and Caitlin, who's two. And we are expecting our third um, sometime in the next three weeks. Um, today I'd like to share with you what the Lord's been doing in my life over the last few months. Shortly after my husband David and I found out we were pregnant with our third baby, um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, we went through a series of emotions from fear to anxiety to um, just being heartbroken and um, really just desperate to know what the Lord's plan would be and how um, He would work all this out for His glory. So needless to say, the last seven months have been the hardest and the longest of my life. Um, we've seen lots of specialists and different doctors, and they've all had um, different suggestions as to what we should do to get rid of the cancer. Um, but none of the different options guaranteed my survival or the health and safety of our baby. Um, we started researching different um, holistic approaches to healing that um, might be able to correct what was wrong systematically in my body and protect the baby as well. So I changed my diet, um, added lots of exercise, supplements, um, had, have, have had all sorts of things done to help aid in my healing. And um, the hard part has been that although I felt great, the lump has continued to grow. And this has definitely been a stretch of faith. And we've just asked God to just um, fill us with his love and um, show us his plan and just increase our faith. Because of all the time that I've spent in the Word, I've discovered some pretty amazing truths about um, God's will for our lives and His promises. Um, first of all, because of Jesus' death on the cross, I have the ability to boldly come before the throne of grace and make my requests known to the Lord. And the Bible says that if what we ask for is in alignment with His Word, He will give it to us. Um, secondly, healing is part of God's plan for us. Um, he wants us to prosper, and He wants to give us a hope and a future. And when Jesus was here on earth, everyone that came to Him in faith was healed. And so I can have that same healing today, and because of God's promises, I can be free from fear, anxiety, and hopelessness, and I can rest in Him. Third, faith is key. Faith comes from hearing, hearing, and hearing God's Word. Once we hear and truly believe, our faith just wells up inside us and overflows and God just dumps his blessings on us. And so I'm eagerly waiting to see how his hand is continuing to work and how he's moving in my life. There are so many other truths that I've learned through the reading of God's word. Just as Jesus sent his son for our spiritual salvation, he also came for our physical salvation and all we have to do is accept it. It's a free gift from God. Um, so at the end of February, um, I decided I was going to claim God's healing in my life. And I took hold of healing, and I accepted it and settled it within my heart. I'm not denying that there are still symptoms of cancer in my body, but I am denying them the right to stay as a child of God. Jesus acted out God's heart while he was here on earth, and he touched and healed everyone that came to him. He showed mercy and grace and love. And so I'm claiming that today for my life. Jesus paid the price so that I could be forgiven and be a part of his family. God has so richly blessed me, and I'm so thankful for him being ever-present in my life. Um, I'm thankful for the Holy Spirit working, moving, and interceding on my behalf. And I'm thankful that I've had this opportunity to share um, with this body of believers what it means to fully place my faith in Christ and celebrate the blessing that has come from knowing Jesus as my personal Savior.